we are, Bart, Kim and Liz. We fell in love with sailing and each other on a sailing school. We bought Tranquility, a 33 foot sailboat to explore the world, but then we got our lovely daughter, Liz. And after two years of sailing with her around the Netherlands, we feel confident enough to live our dream with the three of us. Well, I mean, uh, last September we made the decision to start traveling the world with our sailing boat, Tranquility. It has been a dream from the for the from the both of for the both of us. It has been a dream for the both of us uh, for many many years. Uh, but we always thought it was something we could do when we were older, like retired. And then, due to some personal circumstances and uh, COVID. Uh, we realized we didn't want to wait until we were retired, but we wanted to start living our dream as soon as possible this summer. And that's where we are now. But before we could get to this point, we needed to do a lot of stuff. So we had to come up with a plan. How can we afford sailing around the world? Um, and that meant we had to sell our apartment and um, then we could do all the work we wanted to do on the boat and even have a budget to do this travel time. So, well, let's go back and let's show you some projects we did to, uh, to make our boat, the, for us, the perfect boat to be uh, living on and sailing the world. It's November 2020, where we set sail to Enkhuizen on this beautiful day to get the boat out of the water onto the heart to do some big projects. So, we have made a lot of progress already. You can see her true color. tough job uh, luckily we were with the two of us uh, this week a couple of days so that made it uh, a lot easier to do all the work on the uh, on the hull um, I would not recommend it doing it it's, uh, it's a hell of a job but the result will be there called Dura Solid. It's an uh, epoxy coating for under the hull. We did a blue layer yesterday and today we're gonna put some white on it. It's very thick paint so it will fully cover the blue. 
it doesn't matter because there's something else coming through this white uh, this is uh, a layer that protects from osmosis uh, so it's a watertight layer you need two coats and that's the same amount as uh, all the other uh, brands like uh, gel shield it's also very uh, high glossy and slippery so if you're sailing uh, only on uh, on sweet water you can actually just leave it like this and use only this paint clean it once or twice a year and you'll be good second layer is on now, uh, I will show you. So the black layer you see here is called Finsulate and it's a uh, wrap and it feels like carpet and it will prevent or make it easy to remove foul fouling that comes onto our, our hull. Last year Bart did a full refit of the electricity in the boat um, but for this journey we wanted uh, some upgrades uh, and he did that as well by himself. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let me show you uh, what, what I did. Alright guys, I uh, finished my um electrical compartment for our solar system so uh, over here you've got the MPPT 120 for the big solar panel on our stern and then we've got uh, I upgraded this one it's a MPPT 7515 for our two uh, in parallel flexible solar panels that are on the garage and on our uh, spray hood um, think it's still a mess but um, <laughs> I did it as best as I can and I'm always uh, cutting cables a little bit too short so sometimes there's not much playroom but I think uh, I got it all electrically right uh, there's no metal parts that can hit each other um, I protected some of my cables so I think we're good the DC to DC charger under the navigation table. Um, navigation table was gone at the moment so I just placed it back so you can see how it all um, comes together. Um, I also installed the uh, inverter charger and it's not hooked up yet only to the 12 volt DC system but not to the 30 230 volt. So it's not working yet but this is how it looked like. Here's our navigation table, and you can see the blue unit underneath there. And then the DC-DC charger unit is over there. Alright, so connect the cable to the uh, inverter. Uh, so we are not going to show you if the charger works, but if the inverter works. That's the main thing I want to do. So, uh, all right, fingers crossed. There's a switch on here. It says on. Let's see what happens. All right, a green light. Will it work or not? Do we have 230 from our battery bank? Let's hit the button. So we're gonna speed up the process a bit because we did a lot more like uh, we uh, installed new instruments a, a speed and wind meter uh, it goes along with this uh, raymarine plotter and we also uh, got ourselves a, a new raymarine vhf with uh, in all in the same network now 
Then we drilled some holes in RVS for our support from scan struts so our radar would have a place on the boat. Then we got ourselves a new 15 kilogram Rockna anchor. We had to adjust the bow roller by a company and uh, to make it fit more properly on the bow of the boat. We are very happy with it. And while they were doing that, we also asked them to uh, upgrade our chain plates for our stays. We had to loosen our keel nuts because the washers underneath the nuts were rusty and corroded. Uh, I will show you in a moment and we changed them for some uh, big stainless steel washers. Well this was it, if you have any questions please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all. In the next episode on SV Tranquility, you will see why Liz is jumping in the water. We will also do a test and review of, a, uh, of our new propeller. And if you like this video, just remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see the next episode.